methanol, which is CH3OH, melts at 90, minus 97 degrees Celsius and boils at 65 degrees Celsius. However, it takes a large amount of energy to separate methanol into its constituent elements. So for every one mole of methanol, it takes 235 kilojoules to separate all of the components into carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. What do the low melting and boiling points of methanol indicate about the strength of its intermolecular forces? So what does the low boiling and melting point tell you about the intermolecular forces? So when methanol melts or boils, the intermolecular forces holding the molecules have to be overcome. It only takes a small amount of energy to melt or boil methanol, so its intermolecular forces must be weak. Because it's got such a low melting and boiling point, it must mean that the intermolecular forces are quite weak. What does the large energy required to decompose methanol indicate about the bonds within the molecule? So what about the energy that takes to break it up? To decompose a substance, the forces between atoms within a molecule have to be overcome. And it takes a large amount of energy to decompose methanol, so the covalent bonds holding together must be very strong. Okay? So the, because it takes a lot of energy to break up those bonds, those bonds must be quite strong. So that's the inference that we have from the um, ev experimental evidence.